we now can understand why a motion by the minority in parliament to prove COVID by an institution which should be the most fundamental institution and guardian of the public parliament will dismiss the motion even at death by actors of the new patriotic party political administration. So as much as we feel vindicated, we are further scandalized and we are calling on President Nana Adidampa and reminding him that the 1992 constitution is premised on probity and accountability and that if he has any respect for the values of integrity, let him prove COVID and COVID spending across the country. But we are to believe for now and conclude that the Felicia evidence is good evidence. And that when Excellency John Dramani Mahama addressed some group in the United States barely a month ago and stated that COVID resources were used to prosecute the 2020 elections. Little did he know that Felicia Tete would come and affirm that which Excellency John Dramani Mahama stated. At least, Felicia doesn't work for the NDC. She works for the new patriotic party. And to you, the media, this is just a tip of the iceberg. We're here when our Foreign Affairs Committee even reported how money were spent on behalf of the foreign ministry up to 66 million. Uh, since when our Ministry of Finance began the procurement entity for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So Nana Adudankwa is presiding over a gargantuan fraud in the spending and disbursement of COVID expenses. We will renew our position. We will refile the motion for a probe. But to the Ghanaian public, these are those who parade that they care and they are protectors of the public best.